What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Pokemon Coliseum. Yes. How are you guys? Hope you guys are having a really great day today. Listen. Give me a second, because... Uh, um, Pokemon Coliseum is a role-playing video game developed by Genius Sonority, uh, published by Nintendo, by the, by the Pokemon Company, and distributed by Nintendo as part of the Pokemon series. It was released uh, for the GameCube on November 21st, 2003, in Japan, um, March 22, uh, 2004, in North America, and May 14, 2004, in Europe. As far as I know, uh, platforms are for the GameCube and maybe for the um, for the uh, virtual consoles. Who really knows, man? So here we go. Let's go. That was a uh, quite an opening. Jeez, is this us? Yes. All right. So let's 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 get to it, bros. Oh. We sure uh, pegged out, huh? I love chowing down after a job. It it adds to the flavor. I swear. <laughs> yeah. And we bagged ourselves a great big catch too. Boss will boss will sure be uh, sure to fix us up with a good big reward too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Yo, that bag is moving, bro. Are you kidding me? So I have a question, right? Um. Okay. Well, actually, I'll tell you the question after I'm done saying this, right? I actually played this, or actually, quote unquote, recorded it. Give me a second. Or I'm just making sure I am recording because, okay, so, you know, and usually I do my recordings in the morning and, you know, like today was no different, right? That day I was doing my recording in the morning, but, you know, I have no idea what I pressed on my keyboard and it's still janky because, you know, one, like one through 10 or one through zero and then the space bar doesn't want to actually work because it's like inverted or something. I don't know. I don't know how to get the uninvertedness off of my keyboard. All I know is that it's there to stay for some reason. I'll try to fix it later on, but here we go. Let's go. So as far as this goes, I know what to do from here on, you know, so here we go. Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Iklo Canyon. It was Team Smegma hideout. Team Smegma is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as, as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. Yes. Oh, I, you know, we did that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Travel around. Not that it matters I, any. I don't know where you might come from, but relax. Uh, stick around for a bit. All right. Cool. Thanks, brother. Uh, hey, do you know Team Smegma? Yes. They're uh, seriously nasty a lot. There's no telling how many trainers have suffered in their hands. Hey, I'll tell you something right now, man. I, I'm, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't quite understand what happened, but having our hideout, having your hideout blown up on you, uh, crimes doesn't pay, I guess. I live in a crime-free life, so nothing's going to blow up on me. <laughs> I mean, hey, man, don't, you're jinxing yourself. There's no forgiving that team Smegma. Um, they don't deserve it. Not when they steal Pokemon from other trainers. Why, uh, why I give a hip hop, a hip hip hooray if they were wiped out of their work. Okay. Well, you know, you're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I can tell. 
and you're and you're good i can see it in your eyes i bet your pokemon are impressive if the opportunity arises i'd like to have a battle with you hey i thought uh though i doubt i have any chance of beating you then why are you ask bro that's it let's get out of here cutscene baby oh no not cutscene yo wait up uh-huh what's up uh hey my name is uh, willy after i got a good look at you well i got the urge to battle you it's like i'm compelled to anyway i look uh i i anyway i look at it oh anyway i look at it it's just obvious that you're no or any joke so what do you say let's give it yeah let's go all right let's go baby first uh all right all right here we go first uh battle of the game <laughs> by the way we are doing a full playthrough what are you doing willy yo calm down bro uh i'm burning up now vroom vroom what you in your mom's car or something jeez well, anyways i am I am planning to play this full game. That's why we are not mucking around, bro. Uh, we're just gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit every plot point of the of the game as fast as I humanly can because, you know. Here we go. The double battle two, which is pretty interesting. Now, okay. So my question, right? The the question that I had for you guys is, if this game is canon to the actual like. You know, Pokemon game, right? like um, like the regular Pokemon game. You know, red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal. Uh, because it does say for the Pokemon series, right? So if this is, so if this does, you know, it, if it is canon to the actual game, where would this go? You know, like where would um, where would this game um? be placed in you know like what timeline because as far as we know we already have legend rcs which does take place in the center region but way back then you know so who knows man who really knows i am curious to see if it is all right there we go i should do it by the way did you see the little animation where six to go actually went, went between his legs that's pretty cool dude that, that that's one of the reasons why i like these like you know like you know 3d true 3d um uh pokemon games man because you don't see that in the um in the actual handout i need more seasoning sure i mean whatever dude uh but you yeah you are tough real tough you did a real number on us you had you had six the goons only bro oh hey i know uh, why not test your skills in the Fennec City? It's only a west from here. Yes. Uh, you'll find the trainers who are way better than me there. Uh, you should go out there and have... Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Let's, let's go, shall we? All right. The map, the outskirts. Fennec, a gorgeous jewel of town that overflows with water in the Forbidden Desert. Forbidden Desert? Who owns the desert? Bro, who... Where is, where is the flag to the desert? Look, this is where all the uh, drought was going, man. <laughs> All the water's going to this desert. Jeez. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this, uh, it won't stop squirming. Makes, uh, makes it tough to hold. It looks like a body, dude. What the hell? Oh, by the way, I, I don't, I never played this game up until now. All right. So, um, help someone help me. That tape didn't work. Uh, keep her yap shut. Hey, quit your shouting. Oh, dread. <laughs> Did that punk see that? Dude, they dropped her so bad. What is going on, dude? Dude, hold on. My hair, bro, is like in my face and it's like really getting me mad. Let's get to it, man. Shady guy fully. All right, well, fully? Whisper, both of them. It's kind of, well, actually, I was going to say it's kind of odd, but no, 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 no. It's nothing from the norm from every, um, you know, bad guy we've faced in, um, in Pokemon games. Whoopsie. Because, I don't know, man. Something compels them to actually get every Pokemon, like, all the same Pokemon. But don't let it be, uh, your, your boss, because he will get, he or she will get, like, strong Pokemon. So, I mean, you know, I don't make the rules to be on back. Here we go. That should do it. All right. So at the very least, we got this out of the way. Hundred and oh, by the way, speaking of a hundred and something points, right? Oh, we leveled up. Um, 
This game is notorious to be hard because, you know, the leveling up system sucks. Because you don't get random encounters like in actual Pokemon games. That's the thing. You're tougher than you look. Well, that's what you get. You took, uh, you took out my Wishmer. <laughs> You're no ordinary trainer, or you are. Uh, huh, wait a sec. That face. Might you be Team Smegma? Wait, wait, what's going on here? Somebody, uh, somebody, robbers. They're robbers. You be quiet. We're not robbers. We're kidnappers. Get it? Kidnappers. <laughs> Bro, what do you mean? What? You dink bad? Don't shut your, don't shut off your mouth. Don't get all happy just on account of when, uh, once. Okay, yeah, it's a trash. All right, cool. So somebody help the little the lady. Oh, yuck. There's someone stuck in here. Okay, God's tight. Okay, that's great. Well, you guys have fun. Please, we need your help. No, I don't want to help, dude. Oh my gosh. Time to run around? Yes. I did the knot. Okay, there it is. Thank goodness I'm saved. Okay. Uh, where is this? Oh, you're in Phoenix City, the up, uh, the opponent of the water, whatever. This person saved you here from these thugs. Uh, the way he battled these goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could see it. Yes, it was just me batting around some whismers, whismers or whatever. Uh, oh, is that so? Thank you. Oh, you are. Oh, your name is Shaki. I no, oh, my name is Anka. By the way, her real name is Ri uh, Rui or whatever. Um, she's actually 20 something years old, I think, because she does come on. I think she comes out in a movie called Pokemon Guardians or whatever. Um, it's pretty much the same one, you know, and he is Rui, which is like, he's like 17. I think we're 17. I don't know. Who knows about time though. I mean, geez, I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys, did they have a peculiar Pokemon, a peculiar Pokemon? No, they look like ordinary Pokemon to me. Um, yes. Oh no, no, then it's fine. Well, it's easy to, uh, to see some things on your mind. You should go see our mayor for advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the fountain square past he uh past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's to your left. Uh, the mayor is that true? Uh, uh the mayor might know something. Hey, Shaggy, I know I'm imposing, but I don't I don't have anyone else to turn to. Please, can you sure whatever, dude? I would say no just to see what she says, but I really want the plot to keep going. Wait, well, oh wait a minute, I did say no, right? Oh, but. Then those men might come back. Uh, please, can I get? Okay, fine. Okay, okay, okay. I accidentally pressed B. My bad, dude. Uh, thank you, Shaggy. I thought you might say that. <laughs> yeah, that's asked me twice because I accidentally said no to you twice. If you're with she, if you're with me, Shaggy, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Thanks for joining me for a while. Yeah, yeah yes, Anka. Oh, yeah, I called her Anka, by the way. There's no way that you can tell me that that. You know her name that that's not how you spell Anka, but let's just do this man. We're going to the um mayor's office, which is right here. By the way, when I first played through this, I actually had troubles. And here I was I was scared for my life. <laughs> I guess you're a traveling trainer. Hmm, I like I like what I see in your expression. Bro, you may wanna watch what you say, man. I'm called authorities. Uh, I have a feeling I may I may see you again somewhere. I want. I don't want to see you ever again, Sephiroth. But you know, whatever, dude. It's not gonna happen because I will eventually see see her. I look, the mayor. This is where I was getting a little bit tripped out, right? Because he says, "Oh, you must be uh, travelers. Welcome to Fennec City. I am Escade, the mayor, or uh, whatever, however you want to call him. Um, now you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist you with?" Um, oh, what may I do for your pretty young lady like you? Okay, so when he starts hitting on Anka, like, I really thought Anka was, like, like, probably, like, my age, 16, 17, but no, you know, I figured out that she was, like, 23. I'm like, all right, dude, you're in the clear, buddy. Good job, dude. <laughs> no, I saw it. it. You have to be more specific than that. I saw it. And what did you see exactly, dude? We don't want the authorities to be thinking something else. I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave up black aura. It was like a frightening machine. And that Pokemon would attack Pokemon people. Oh, my. Pokemon like a fighting machine. And it attacked people? Now, if you are true, 
that would be truly frightening. However, it is really a, a little hard to believe. It's true. It's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of the, some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm, I see. I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. There is no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish, especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. You know, even though she's 23 years old, man, you gotta tone it down a little bit, you know? You're you're way past 11. You gotta tone it down at least to a 7, bro, please. Um, I'll ask what you gave me. Wait, I'll ask that you gave me a little time on this matter. Um, I promise we will get some full information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be a Pokemon trainer yourself, so if so, I urge you to visit our city pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's a breathtakingly beautiful stadium, uh, befitting our, our, our oasis city. All right, man, thanks. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because we do come back here later. I want to see something. All right, yeah, he's going to look at me, go up to his room. Oh, my God. Oh, hi, aren't you cute? giggle it must be nice traveling with a cute girlfriend thanks man but you know i came to a conclusion that this lady right here is the mistress of the mayor and you can't tell me otherwise because hey look how happy he is bro uh-uh <laughs> let's just go to the stadium bro we can't go into the stadium yet because apparently the um the battles already started so it's cool like we said, we are here to uh, progress the storyline. Welcome to Fennec Stadium. This is where the registered uh, trainers for a challenge. However, the current challenges have already started. So we are no longer accepted trainers. Uh, please come back and to enter the challenge. Can we just go in as, you know, spectators, man? Come on, man. Hi, are you here to take part in the challenge too? Oh, yeah. Well, me too. I came here hoping to participate in the challenge, but I was disappointed. By the time I arrived, the challenge had already started. I wanted to win this uh i wanted to win this knockout challenge i would have liked to win the cash prize and the technical machine what is the tm huh surf fly well i mean unless you're flying me to the moon but the, my both my pokemon can't fly isn't the city stadium amazing oh i wish i could soon battle at the stadium as fabulous as this one oh well good luck man by the way we have some posters here to the left as you can see it's grout on and Croc, no, not croc, uh, crocodile or whatever his name is. I forgot. And we have Rosalie as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Hey, Shiaki, we finally found you, you filthy double crossing traitor. Wrecking the hideout wasn't good enough for you. You, so you ripped off the snag machine. Uh, you, you got some nerve, dude. Huh? Like, what are you talking about? Who are these people, huh? Are they Team Smegma? And what did they mean by traitor? Sheik, you mean? That's right, pretty lady. He's from Team Smegma, just like us. I asked Team Smegma. But he's no ordinary member. He is a snagger. He's the best in Team Smegma at the snagging Pokemon without fail, right? There's so much snagging. No way. Is that true? Yes. Oh, no. It's just, so it is true. It's a little shocking. Well, I mean, hey, man. Hey, Sheik, come on. Hand it over. Give back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. Snag machine. Shaggy, do you really have something like that? The snag machine is built for trainers. When a trainer puts a snag machine on, their Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokemons are turned into snag balls that can steal Pokemon from their trainers in battle. Hey, you blabbermouth. Keep that stuff secret. I get it, Shaggy. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. Creeps? What did you mean by creeps? Ah, this is getting us nowhere. If you won't give up... If you won't give it up wittily, we'll take it from you by force. Hey, man. All I'm saying, Ryan, even if I do give it to you, like, the bot, your boss is still going to come after me and try to, quote, unquote, teach me a lesson. So I might as well keep it and wait until he actually come up, comes up to me and, quote, unquote, teach me a lesson. I'm just saying. All right. There we go. We finished. That was a nice battle. Finally, Espeon. Whoa. Espeon finally leveled up so quick. By the way, the first time around, I was actually get, having a hard time leveling up. And for some reason, you know, it's not good enough. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean. Blast you, Shiaki. Don't think this is over. We're going to get the snag machine back. Just you wait. All right, man. Have a good time. Well, what do you know, Shiaki? So you were from Team Smegma. 
All right. To be accurate, I should say former Team Smegma. Um, it's like, it's okay, Shaggy. It doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. Okay. So, it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought of something after listening to those creeps. This is Shaggy. We should go shopping for Pokeballs. Yes. Okay. So, as far as I know, Pokeballs don't, um, uh, they don't sell Pokeballs here. Right? Because I don't know, man, for some strange reason. Well, actually, it makes sort of sense, right? Because you don't get random encounters anymore. So it actually does make some some sense. He tells you no one sells Boggle Balls around these parts. That's common knowledge. The guy that runs the outskirts stand used to sell them before, but you have to keep that a secret. Yeah, so both of you out the way. Anka, kid, get out of here, dude. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, I don't know, man. Well, it makes sense, like I said, because you don't really have random encounters, right? So, you know, um, yeah. So g let me let me heal my Pokemon and I'll see you guys in the outskirts. All right. This is the outskirts right here. And the dude that sells them is actually the um the store owner of this place. Listen, pal, if you're intending to travel more, you might want to stock up on supplies. Hi, can I ask you something? Do you sell do you sell any Pokeballs? Pokeballs, you say. There's no call for these things around these parts. Uh, where'd I put them now? Oh yeah, here they are. A little dusty, I'm afraid, but otherwise pretty, uh, perfectly capable conditions. Here, take these. I'll let you have them for free. So he gives us five. Thank you. Uh, well, since I found them, I may just as well put them in the rest. Okay, so... Okay, so actually, it doesn't really matter if he gives you five. I think you just have to buy buy them. So, you know, whatever, dude. Let's just buy ten. Get the premier ball he actually does give you a premier ball which is kind of interesting because he does say that there's no need for pokeballs around those parts so hey man i'm just saying dude let's go so we gotta go back to uh oh fleek fliflia fennec there we go and yes uh umbreon and espion don't ride with us anymore big surprise oh oh it's you two something terrible is happening Yes, a whole lot of scary men came here. I think I saw them, uh, these two creeps who took off with the truck right here. Okay, so yeah, so they're definitely talking to the mayor right now. Or not talking to the mayor, but you know what? You, you, you'll see what I mean when we get there, man. I mean, it's something to behold. <laughs> Master Morby. It's him. Oh, now, weren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me you were bested by these two darling infants? Darlings, darling, did you say your name was Shiaki or something? I so don't like saying this, but we're not at the liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. That sweet young thing. She can see things that ordinary people cannot suppo uh, supposed to see. That just will not do for what we're planning to do. All right. Um, no, it's won't, it won't do at all. If you don't like pain, like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of my pla out of the places it be. Um, boys, oh boys, hey look, the Power Rangers are here. Yes, we will. All right, boys, the show to make a return pirate to Pirate City. Okay, I'm making myself clear. I want to set failures from you again, boys. Let the music spin. Let it. Go. Okay, and then like, and then he just kills it, dude. You guys should do a conga line, dude. I'm just saying, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Come on. You, you, you. Last time you caught me off guard, not gonna happen again. That's fine by me, dude. Just more be peon fully. Sure. There we go. One down. One more to go. All right. This is the guy that actually means something. He has a dust call. Which is pretty cool, and a spinner rack. Which is pretty cool too, I mean. Oh yeah, let's be out like always. But like I said. Oh. These dudes actually have um have something that we actually want. What is snatch? Wait a minute. Dark. Alright, whatever, dude. Just do that. Confuse the spinner rack. Make a move. Okay.
By the way, the 3D models of these of these Pokemon look pretty de uh, dope for the time. They still look pretty cool. I mean, the uh, Makuhita. The um. All right, this is where it focuses on Anka. Yo, her character model looks so weird, bro. Those jerks captured me because I saw that Pokemon. I can see a black aura coming from it. They just have done something to that Pokemon. All right. Yeah, can be careful. The Pokemon isn't afraid to attack people. Bro, just smack it across the face. Get the Pokemon back from the boy. Okay. I would have just smack him in the face. I did snatch. So what, what did my snatch do? It absolutely did nothing. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. By the way, we're just going to try to capture it right away. I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to wait. Just catch it. Catch this and then find confusion. Dusk. Snag ball. The animation looks pretty cool too. By the way, this is the only time you would see snag balls out, like outside of a Pokemon Coliseum. I don't think there isn't any. It's already like. I'm already used to it, right? Like new new Pokemon, not me look or yeah, whatever new Pokemon games nowadays. Like when you play them, like how do I, how do I say that? How do I say this in English? Um, like, uh, se malacostumbra. Look, you deflated, which it's meaning like you know um like you get so you get you get bad you badly used to it right like i'm used to like because i've been playing a bunch of pokemon lately and i'm used to getting uh experience points from just catching pokemon and we don't get that here you know darn it but you're po you're good at uh you're good you snag my pokemon hey what are you saying you're not supposed to be impressed oh man well what we're we supposed to do to us out yeah so what do we do this is what to do run away yes run away dude Different regions go to home or some. I don't know. You did it, Shaggy. You snagged that Pokemon from that goon. But be sure. Uh, but I'm sure there are others like it. Let's get out of them. Let's get all of them back, guys. Okay. I do. We have to get all of them. Can I just like pass the game? Look, the Green Rangers on this side. But I'm just gonna go and um heal my Pokemon and I'll be back. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not about to let you pass. Or yes. Let's go. So the green ranger decides to talk to us, bro. Let's do this. They got your Pokemon back. Come on, Bailey and a Grimer. Bayleaf is the one that we have to take, you know, like uh, pay more attention to because that's the one that we need. I know. Alka, thank you for letting me know. Okay, we're just gonna. We're gonna bite confusion. Uh because he, Bayleaf is in level 30 and there's no way, you know, that can there's no way that could be right. Point. Razor leave. It hits both of us. Which it does absolutely nothing to Am Ombria, right? But as soon as it touches Espeon, it's like, okay, hold up, dude. You gotta, you gotta relax, bro. That's good. That's good damage. Well, we're, we're just trying to weaken it right now. Otherwise I would have, I would have like, you know, thrown a Pokeball at it. Not very effective, of course. Oh, dude, Espeon's about to die, dude. Whoa! That's side wave on that. Oh no, yo! Whatever, dude. I don't really care. I was gonna say it doesn't affect me, but you know, it's cool. Whatever, dude. Capture this one, and if we can, just finish off Spoink. It would be amazing if if it happens, because the first time I went through this, uh, Espion actually passed out. So please get caught. Thank you. Yes, there we go. This torment, of course, because what does that do? 
Congratulations, you dingus. You played yourself. There we won. Good stuff. Like I said, Espeon didn't die this time, so it's pretty good. He was close. <laughs> she was close to b biting the big one, but no. Um, you're tough, truly and fully. What? All right, just give me the money, dude. Don't talk to me like if we're buddies. What was that strange Pokemon? What did you What did you people do to it? That is a Pokemon that we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the doors to its heart. You? No, you didn't. You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart. Uh, hmm, knowing that it's not going to help you anything. Okay, he's gone. I know when I was when I was a little hurt about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to their heart, it's it can gradually reopen by battling together with it. Check it. Let's go. Let's just, let's go. These guys are probably uh, headed for Pirate Town. After all, it was in Pirate Town that they captured me. All right. So first of all, first and foremost, let me let me go kill my Pokemon. And second of all, why were you in Pirate Town, bro? I mean, it makes absolutely zero sense. All right. We're in Construction Zone or whatever it's called. Um. We can't go to Pirate Town because it's not an option. So we're just going to talk to people. Oh, hold it there. This is a construction site. It's not a safe place to be. There's no place for tourists to visit. So go scram. Um, hey, yep. That's uh, been a mighty losing time. I can't rightly recall when it was that last time I home. Last time I was home. But we're just about done here. It's uh, all that's left is to clean up the site and we're done. All right. Ah, I've been working hard. I have. Let me tell you, making this here huge tower one massive job. What do you mean? It's hard enough to imagine, even for me. You'll come back to visit when we're all done here. Uh, there will be a col coliseum on top of the tower. Amazing stuff. All right, cool. But this is not where we want to be, though. Now we can go to Pirate Town. You, you know, I gotta say that the that the um, loading time for this game is actually a lot better than some games now nowadays. You know. Oh, uh, Mr. Johnson, give me a, uh, give a man a break here. I keep telling you, I don't know anything. Uh, that better be true, Kyle. If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? All right, fine. I'll let you off the easy today. See you. Yo, he's hiding something, bro. Come on, look at his face. And he'll be like, hey, hey, hey sucker. Haha, <laughs> I told you. What a network. Of course, I haven't got a thing to tell you. Great, let's talk to them. What are you looking at? I haven't seen your face around these parts. What, what are you, a tourist? If you don't want to get hurt, you should get lost and quick, uh, and, and quick for a good for health. Hey, hey. Okay, you want to go, man? I mean, let's do this right now, right here, right now. All my Pokemon are healed up. Oh, that's right. We could have battled an old man in the other town. That's what I'm going to do next. What's this? Fortune telling. This is where, we're, this is where, where we are going to leave it off, by the way. Um, people call Fatine a mother of pirates. Okay. Um, her ability as a fortune teller is highly regarded. Hey, just uh, so a while ago, she even determined where my wife is living since she left me. <laughs> Jeez. Find what you seek. Be an object. Personal luck. Uh, okay. Um, a problem. A problem. Maybe telling. Okay. Let's just get out of here. Where is the Pokemon Center where I can actually save? Is that a chest up there? How are we going to get that? Oh. Constable Johnson. Uh, I'm sorry, Chief, but there's trouble afoot. You see, Chief, there's talk that thugs have been witnessing uh, using strange Pokemon. Uh, Chief, you're not the Chief. I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. I've heard about it over and over already. Oh, uh, Chief. Uh, there you are. You're such a kidder. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, name is, let me show I'm the chief, the police. Is this sound, are you two travelers? Yes. I see. Well, whether you are not, whether you are or not, it will be best if you were to get out of this town as soon as possible. The towns descend into a state of lawless chaos. I couldn't guarantee your safety. Even if it were happening. Okay. That's fine. Whatever, dude. <laughs> yes, we could save it. Yes, we can, dude. Save. All right. So, thank you guys for coming out with the appreciated Foster Boy on Instagram, Mr. Gaming Link, INK, and all that good stuff. Subscribe, like, comment down below. Become part of Mr. Gaming Link, Mr. Gaming Link, Mr. Gaming And everyone, please have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Uh, yo, your outfit's kind of weird, but you're a trainer too, aren't you? Yes. 
Good. That's okay. Then I'll teach you about one of the few rules this town has. Here we have street battles rather than exchanging greedy. Okay. Stay, stay, stay clean, healthy. Thank God everyone we're alive because it was a would have been the first place. Have faith in him and never faith in him because everything's going to be all right. Trust me. Um, you're going to come at me with a centred and a tailor. That is very cute, my guy. You're a thug, aren't you? I'm just saying, I mean, I've seen, I've seen, uh, other thugs with better looking Pokemon than yours. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. But yes, uh, like I said before, I am going to be, uh oh, I did help me hand. No, I did not mean to do that. Um, I am going to be, um, making a full playthrough of this game, uh, you know, because I want to play the other one, Gales of Darkness as well. And I did figure out that Gales of Darkness is actually a sequel to this game. So we might as well take this game out of the way and, um, you know, see where, see where everything goes. Yeah. Centered flinch, you bigot. I did not mean to do, uh, that I meant to reflect quick attack. Oh, quick attack was pretty cool. It's pretty decent. Wait, no, not reflect. It was the other one. Oh my God. Well, I'm messing up, bro. Umbreon is the only one doing work right now, dude. But the very least, Umbreon's about to, um, black off. Look at that, man. It looks adorable. All right. Bite. Return. There we go. That's the one that I wanted to do, man. Jeez. There we go, you big nerd. That's how you do damage. That's how you do it, dude. Growl. It's too late for that. Espeon doesn't use attack, bro. She's special attack. I mean, Umbreon does, but you know, I'm still doing a decent amount of damage. Pursuit. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Um, Slackoff looks very adorable, dude. <laughs> he looks so he's adorable. Man. Let's take care of that one and let's return on Slackoff quick attack. Oh, there we go. That should do it, right? Right? It didn't do anything to slack off. Oh my gosh. At the very least, Taylor is dead. Oh Lord. So close to leveling up after this bad uh, nerd. <laughs> after this one, we are going to be uh, finishing it off and you know, we'll continue. We'll continue this tomorrow from this town. Uh, I'll probably go back to heal my Pokemon because I don't want to go any further just because I think that might be a, 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 a like a cutscene. So I'll save that for, for tomorrow's episode. And you know, I, like I said, I just want to get this story. You're better than me. Of course. What do you expect? That's what you say. That's what you, where's my money. He didn't give me money. I tripped myself up, but you're not bad at all. Your bone on the tops. Okay. I can see it in your eyes. You're just like us. It's very easy. No, I'm nothing like you, dude. I'm part of team Smegma. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Let me go save it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in this place.